Hi, let me introduce you to a simple PowerPoint animation called Pullout Animation. I'll show you some mind-blowing applications of the effect. Then I will keep leveling up the animation by applying some small variations to the base effect each time. You will witness the impact made by these simple tweaks. In the process, I'll also show you unteen practical examples of how you can use these animation effects in designing your slides so you can leave a lasting impact on your audience. The best part is, these effects are simple enough for even a rank beginner in PowerPoint and can be practiced in any version of PowerPoint. So watch the video till the end. It is going to be a fun ride and you will learn a lot of useful tricks along the way. By the way, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Let us jump right in. Here I am on a new slide. Let me show you the basic construct of the animation. Let us go to shapes. Let us pick up a rectangle and then draw a shape. Next, let us add another shape. In this case, I'm going to add an oval shape. Let us hold the shift button down and draw the oval shape. I can give this a different color, remove the outline and I can place this right on top of the previous box and can apply the reveal animation. Now, what is the reveal animation? It is a simple motion path. Let us select this, go to animations and here we have the option to choose the motion path animation and we can move this to the right or we can move this to up. So this is the kind of animation that we are talking about. Now, how can we apply this animation to create some interesting effects in our presentation? Instead of having this as a simple colored fill, I can fill this with a picture. So let me go to the next slide and this is a picture that I just took from PowerPoint. I'm going to copy this and then let us go here, right click format shape and then go to fill and I'm going to fill this with a picture or texture fill. The picture source is clipboard. Now to add some more value to this, let us add some text on the box. Let us go once again to the next page and let us pick up this sample text that I had already written and I'm going to place this right on top of this picture and let us have this appear with a simple fade. Let us go to animation pane and this animation is going to happen with previous and it is going to have a bit of delay. So if we say the previous animation is for two seconds, maybe we can reduce it to one second and the second animation will have a delay of 0.75 seconds. Now let us send this photo behind this box and let us go to slideshow and see how the simple reveal works. On a click, we have the photo popping out and we have the text which explains the photo. <laughs> it is that simple. Now I'll show you some practical examples of how you can use the same effect in your presentation slides. Here is a template that I took from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. On a click, I introduce four pictures. Then on a click, I bring out the text and now you can see how this animation is created. I had this behind and then we have a simple motion path animation to reveal each of these explanations for the picture. Isn't it simple? Now let me show you another creative variation. Now in this case, I want to pull out the explanation from behind the photo, just that a hand comes and pulls out and it looks quite interesting. Now let me add a slight variation to what we have just learned. Let us start with a simple box as usual. Then let us add another box and this time let us make this box slightly thinner than the previous one. And this one is going to come out of this box. And to make it distinct, I'm going to add some other different color and remove the outline. And let me add some text. Let us go to the text box tool and let us say you can replace this sample text. So this is what is going to be the text here. Let me increase the size a little bit and place this over here and I'm going to group this and this together by pressing Ctrl G after selecting both of them. Now how do we make this come out from inside this box? As you can see this one is way longer than this one. Now if I keep this over here you can see that a part of it will still be shown and it will not really look nice. So how is it possible to have this one come out of this box when the size is slightly larger? Now we will add another type of animation called peak in animation. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go to animations and let us see where we have this peak in animation available. 
Let me go to more entrance effects. I can choose this peak in in the basic animation and I can say OK. And we are going to have the direction from left. So that is how it is going to peak in. When I go to slideshow, you can see that when I click on peak in, it comes from inside this box, but then a part of it is shown. So that is the reason why we have this earlier box covering the previous one. So let us bring this to front. Now let us go to slideshow and see the same effect. There is a box. On a click, we have this card coming out from inside the box. It's such a simple variation to the previous effect. And there are some very interesting applications to this effect. Let me show you how I used this effect in one of our templates. By the way, the link to our all-in-one PowerPoint templates bundle is in the description box below the video. Let's continue. Here we have two of these pockets. On top of the pockets, we have the terms. On a click, we will have the definition shown of the term. See, it's a very interesting effect and it is created entirely based on the simple animation trick that I showed you just now. Now, when you combine a peak in animation with a fade animation, you will get this kind of a result. Can you see the picture is peeking out of this box and this box is fading in. Observe this. It's a very interesting effect and these kind of simple combinations of animation can really make your audience go wow. Now let's try another variation. This time instead of pulling the object up or to the side, let us try a pull down effect. Once again, it's very simple. You know the basics. I can go here and I can use something to cover and then I will have things coming out of this. So naturally I will have another box. Maybe this can be in a different color as always. And this can be pulled out. So let us go to animations and let us go to the same more entrance effects. Peek in from top and we will have right click and send this to back. Once you have the animation applied, you can easily copy the same element by pressing Ctrl D. I'm going to place it over here. And then I can press Ctrl D and I can place it over here. Maybe I can extend this slightly and I can move everything to the center. Maybe we can have these two sent back. Now observe this. At the start, I will have just this portion. Then on a click, we will have the explanation coming out of this bar. What can be the application for something like this? Here I can add a photo and I can provide explanation of the photo like this. And it's a very interesting way to present your photo. Now let me show you an example from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. There are three banners sliding down alternatively in this. On a click, we will have the first banner shown. Once we present this, we will go to the second banner and the third banner based on the exact same animation that I showed you just now. Let us create another variation. This time, instead of drawing the box myself, I'm going to insert the image of a cardboard box in the front and I'm going to keep the objects behind it to reveal on a click. You can go to pixabay.com and search for a cardboard box. You will get something like this. You can download it. I've downloaded and I'm going to paste it on my slide. And then I'm going to use the space here by adding some kind of a subtitle text. So that will explain what we have inside the box. Let us make this slightly larger and maybe even bolder and we can keep it over here. And maybe you can use a font which is in contrasting color. Then if you remember in our first slide, we had this picture and this text. Let us use the same ones. Let us go back to the previous page and paste them over here. And then we will have this photo sent to back. Now let us see the kind of animations that are added to the photo and the text. When I go to animation pane, you can see that for this photo, we have a motion path animation and for the text, we have a simple fade animation. Now, when I go to slideshow, instead of a simple box, now we have a cardboard box on a click. I can have this pop out and I can give the explanation. Now let me show you some creative ways. The same idea can be used here. We have the information about three clients. On a click, we will reveal the first information and then the second one and the third one. Again, created based on whatever that I showed you just now. Now, if I want to show you a variation of the cardboard box that I had just shown you, this is an example. On a click, we have the first number shown and the explanation shown and the second one and the third one. So these are three points that are revealed from inside the box. It could be a surprise element or it could be the announcement of three prizes. 
the way you can use this animation is left totally to your imagination. Now, instead of a box, you can go a bit further. You can take a picture of a human head, cut it, and then on a click, we will have three questions revealed from inside the head like so. Now, let me show you the last variation of this tutorial. Let us go once again and pick up a simple box like so. And we will have the same image that we used earlier. Now, this time we will have it peek out. So let us go to animations and change the direction to the right. It is a simple motion path animation that I had just shown you. It need not even go all the way till there. It can even come out partially like this. As it comes out, I want it to appear as if it is coming from inside the slide itself. Now, how can I do that? I can select this box. I can have the same color as the slide color. Now I can send this to back. Now, when I go to slideshow, just observe, there is nothing that the audience sees. On a click from nowhere, this picture is coming out from the slide. It's a very interesting thing, isn't it? Now, to make this even more interesting, let us select the box and add a little bit of outline so you can see what I've got here. I'm going to add some kind of a shadow here. Let me go to shapes, pick up the oval tool and let us draw an oval like this. Right click, go to format shape, go to gradient fill. And I'm going to change the type of gradient to path. I'm going to remove all the unnecessary ones. So I'll have just two of these stops. The first stop is going to be this kind of a light gray color. And the last one is going to be white color. And we are going to have a transparency of 100%. And I'm going to move this slightly like so. And maybe I can even add one more stop so I can extend this shade a little bit. Now we can play with the stops and their positioning till the time we are happy with the result. It is nothing but a simple elliptical shape which has three stops. How are we going to use this? We are going to place this over here and maybe adjust it slightly so it is right within this pocket. Now I'm going to place this white box that I had earlier. I'm going to bring it to front and let us go to shape outline and say no outline. Now all of a sudden it looks like there is a cut on the slide and there is this shadow because of that cut. Now we are going to have this tiger between this top layer and this shadow layer. So we need to have this one sent right to the back. Now let us go to slideshow. On a click, we will have this picture coming out of this cut pocket. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Just see how interesting it is. And there are some very interesting ways you can use this technique. Let me show you an example from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. We have four points here. On a click, the first explanation, the second, the third, and the fourth explanation are shown. Now, this effect looks as if there is an incision made on the slide and we pulled out the strip. And from inside this, these strips are coming out. I've created a lot of video tutorials earlier to showcase the power of the pullout effect. One example is this one, where I showcase three out of the box ideas like this. Can you see a ball is coming out of a box like this? I've created this and I will leave a link to this in the description box below the video. You can watch that video and learn this technique. Now to showcase the pull down animation effect that I had shown you in this tutorial, I've created an earlier tutorial called screen unfurl effect, which looks quite interesting. You can see that on a click, a hand comes and pulls down the screen and reveals a picture. I will leave a link to this tutorial as well in the description box. You can learn this animation. Once again, the base for this animation is the pull out effect that I had just shown you. You can also watch that video by clicking on the link right now on your screen. In the meantime, do you want to join our five day free mini training called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas? When you click on the link that is shown right now on your screen, you will be signed up to that free course and you will receive these 25 creative ideas that you can use in your next presentation. So click on the link, sign up to the free course and I will see you inside.